Welcome to this video about VMware. Um, we released our new service around VMware licensing, how you can optimize this for your environment and uh, what you need to uh, yeah, watch out for. As always, we always uh, like to link this to Microsoft. So we will also briefly be discussing Hyper-V uh, and the difference between uh, the two. So VMware, um, let me pull up the screen. There we go. So VMware is, um, oh, sorry, this one. VMware is a company that offers a range of virtualization products. So um, they have VMware Workstation, VMware Fusion, VMware Server, VMware ESXi. Um, Workstation and Fusion are desktop applications that let you create and run virtual machines on your Windows or Mac OS. And the server and ESXi uh, are server applications that let you host multiple virtual machines on a physical server. Now, these last two are usually what um, big corporations are using um, because yeah, VMware is basically known for reliability, performance, and compatibility with various operating systems and hardware. Um, yeah, Microsoft offers their own solution. It's called Hyper-V. Um, here you can learn more about Hyper-V on Windows 10. Uh, and Hyper-V is actually the virtualization feature that is built into Windows Server already and Windows 10 already. Um, it lets you create and manage virtual machines using a graphical interface or a command line tool. Um, and when you buy Windows Server or the Windows desktop operating system, you already have uh, access to that functionality. However, um, a lot of companies still decide to eventually invest in VMware and still do to this day, even with the release of all these massive cloud platforms like Azure, AWS, GCP. Uh, VMware is still a big player in the market, uh, as you might know. Um, that's ba basically because one of the main advantages of VMware is its wide support for different OSs like Windows, Linux, macOS, Solaris, Free, BSD, and, and you name some. Um, they, have, they have a very active community of users and developers who provide uh, helpful resources, documentation, and support. Um, they are able to give you snapshots, cloning, live migration, and high availability features that can enhance your virtualization experience, something that Hyper-V might not be able to, to do for you. Um, finally, it's considered to be more stable than Hyper-V as it has less bugs and, and vulnerabilities. Um, but yeah, there's also some drawbacks. So why would you not want to um, use uh, VMware? Um, pricing usually, so that's why we're making this video. It's, it's a very expensive product and you want to be able to optimally uh, license and procure this. So um, if you're interested in, in that, do reach out to us um, and see how we can serve you better uh, on this front. We have specialized consultants that um, uh, are very skilled at VMware and can help you uh, with uh, any problems that you might have. Um, yeah, so uh, if we compare the, the pros and cons of VMware um, with Hyper-V, then we see that the pros for Hyper-V are basically its affordability. So like I said, it's free within Windows Server and, and, and Windows 10. Uh, or 11 right now, and you do not uh, need to pay any additional fees to use it. Hyper-V uh, has lower overhead than VMware um, as it runs on the um, um, uh, Windows Server kernel rather than as a separate application. And um, yeah, integration with certain Windows features might be better um, with Hyper-V than with VMware for obvious reasons. Um, but there's obviously disadvantages to Hyper-V as well. Um, the limited support for non-Windows operating systems that uh, might not work well with a lot of Linux distributions or uh, different operating systems like Mac OS or Solaris, etc. And you may need to install additional drivers or tools to make them run smoothly. Uh, it has a smaller and less active community because it's being used less than, for instance, VMware. Uh, so the resources that might be available, the documentation that might be available is uh, more limited. Um, having said that, we do uh, appreciate your interest in uh, uh, the VMware servers that we're offering. So if there's anything you want to discuss, 
um, yeah, hit uh, the button uh, on the on the the page that you're on right now, and do uh, reach out to us. Thank you.